George Herman Ruth Jr., Babe, was born on February 6, 1895, in Baltimore, Maryland. He lived in Pigtown, Baltimore. He was the son of George Herman Ruth and Kate Ruth. He was one of eight children, but six of his siblings died. Only George and his sister Mamie survived. George Jr. was not a very well-behaved child. He talked back to adults, stole, didn't obey his parents, and liked to party. He became too much for his parents to handle, so at the age of seven, they sent him to St. Mary's School in Baltimore. George Jr. didn't like St. Mary's because they were very strict and he didn't like discipline. There was one person, however, who became a positive role model to George. His name was Brother Matthias, one of the monks. He taught George many things. One of those things was baseball. George started to love baseball and was very good at it. He became so good at it that Jack Dunn, owner of the Baltimore Ori Orioles, came to watch him play. Dunn was impressed and offered George Jr. a contract to sign with the Orioles. George was only 19, so Dunn had to become George's legal guardian. After George went with Dunn, he followed him around everywhere, so his teammates called him Jack's newest babe. The name stuck, and he became known as Babe Ruth. Babe played well for the Orioles, which was only a minor league team at the time. Later, he was sold to the Boston Red Sox and was playing with the Majors. After his season ended with the Red Sox, Babe married Helen Woodford on October 17, 1914. On May 6, 1915, Babe had a huge moment. During a game against the New York Yankees, Babe hit his first home run in the Majors. It was a big deal and people noticed. Babe was earning a lot of money, so one of the things he did was buy his father a bar. Two years later, Big George died in a street fight. His sister, Mamie, was the only family member who lived to see Babe become famous. Babe had a great season with the Red Sox in 1916. During the World Series, he pitched in the game in Game 2, and the Sox went on to win the series. In 1918, Babe wanted to concentrate on hitting instead of pitching. His coach said no. One day, while messing around, Babe punched his fist into a wall. His finger was hurt and badly swollen, but he still pitched well and helped the Red Sox go to the championship. Babe knew he was good at both pitching and hitting, which was rare. He asked for a raise, and the Red Sox agreed. He was earning $10,000 a year, which was a lot of money back then. It was enough to buy two or even three houses. Babe started getting into some trouble again with partying and bad behavior. He also was not hitting as well. Then things changed. On May 20th, he hit his first grand slam of his professional career. In 1920, Babe was sold to the New York Yankees. Babe did very well with the Yankees, but the Red Sox didn't win another World Series for 86 years. That's the year 2004. Their unlucky streak was known as the Curse of the Bambino. The Yankees never played in the World Series before Babe. One thing that made him very happy was he would concentrate on hitting instead of pitching. He hit his first home run with the Yankees in May after a rib injury he was healed. After that, he hit a lot of home runs and made a notch for each one in his favorite battle. People loved Babe Ruth. They came in huge crowds to watch him play. They loved his energy. There was no television at that time, so they listened to the radio. Newspaper reporters had fun giving him nicknames such as the Sultan of Swat, the King of Crash, the Prince of Pounders, the Colossus of Clout, Babelmania, and the Big Bang. By the end of the season, he hit 54 homers. Babe was a tall man. He was top heavy with broad shoulders and big muscles in his arms. He also had skinny legs and small feet. He loved to eat and he burped loudly when, and proudly when he was done. Through the years, Babe started to gain a lot of weight. His personality was honest and funny. He didn't hold anything back. He had a lot of energy and was always full of practical jokes. He was also very competitive. Babe was now making $20,000 a year, so he had a lot of money to spend on many things. He spent many nights partying, so during his daytime games, he was tired and not playing his best. In 1921, Babe had his first child, a daughter named Dorothy. Babe loved kids because he acted like one himself. He visited orphanages, 
hospitals and donated money to the St. Mary's. He was very good to the children at St. Mary's. He visited them often and gave them gifts and put on shows. In 1921, he beat his home run record with 159 home runs. Babe was known as the home run king. The Yankees went to the World Series against the New York Giants. During game two, Babe slid into third and scraped his arm. He scraped it again the next game and became and it became infected. In game five, he hurt his knee and became sick. The Yankees lost the World Series. Babe was suspended for six weeks in 1922 because he illegally played games with teams that weren't in the majors. During his suspension, he overate and drank. By the time he rejoined the team, he was fat and cranky. He got into fights with umpires and was suspended for five games. Fans still loved him, though. Babe hit 35 home runs that year, even with all of his time being suspended. During the World Series against the Giants, the Yankees lost again. Babe was ashamed of himself and how he'd been behaving. During his offseason, he bought a beautiful farm for Helen. He stopped eating so much and exercised. He was ready to go back to the Yankees in their new stadium. During his first game in the new stadium against the Red Sox, Babe hit the first home run. The Yankees won and a sports writer called the stadium the house that Ruth built. The rest of the season was just as great. And the Yankees went on to finally beat the Giants in the World Series. After that, Babe was voted MVP in the American League. Even with all of his fame and success, Babe was still very down to earth. He called most people kid because he couldn't remember names. 1925 was a bad year. Babe had been drinking again. He gained weight and was suspended for bad behavior. Other players hit more home runs than he did. He was in the hospital for six weeks and he and Helen separated. After the bad year, he again started to make changes. In 1926, during the World Series, he made a promise to a boy in the hospital he would hit a home run for him. He hit three. In 1927, he hit 60 home runs in the season. In 1929, Helen passed away, and later Babe fell in love with and married a woman named Claire Hodgson. Claire was firm and tried to get Babe to follow the rules. They moved to a beautiful New York apartment with Babe's daughter, Dorothy, and Claire's daughter, Julie. In 1930, Babe's salary was $80,000 a year. During 1932 World Series against the Chicago Cubs, Babe made history again. Oh, after allowing two strikes to go through, he pointed his finger to center field. Many people say he was calling the shot. When the pitch came, he hit the ball so hard to center field and into the stands. Another home run. It was his last World Series. He continued to play baseball through 1935. He was then playing for the Boston Braves. He hit his last home run on May 25th against the Pittsburgh Pirates. It was the first home run to ever fly outside of the park, and it was home run number 714. He retired after that. In 1948, Babe celebrated the 25th anniversary of Yankee Stadium. He was there even though he had throat cancer. He spent his last days in the hospital while receiving a lot of fan mail. President Truman called to wish him well and the mayor of New York came to visit him. Babe Ruth died on August 16, 1948, at age 53. His funeral was at Yankee Stadium, and the flag at the stadium flew half-mast. The Yankees retired his number, and no other player will ever wear the number three. Babe held 54 major league records. He hit 714 home runs. His record was broken in 1974 by Hank Aaron of the Atlanta Braves. Today, Babe still ranks th number three for the most home, run home runs. Babe was a legend. There will never be another Sultan of Swat, King of Crash, Prince of Pounders, Colossus of Clout, Babe Mania, Big Bam, or Home Run Kid. There will never be another Babe Ruth.